physical and chemical changes. Chemical change. A chemical change is a permanent change in which new substances are formed whose chemical and physical properties are different from the original substance. Characteristics of a chemical change. A new substance is formed. The composition and properties of the original substance changes completely. So, what does this mean? So, whenever we will be having a chemical change, it will always be accompanied by the formation of a completely different substance. The Let's take an example to understand it better. So, we take the example of rusting of iron. Now, if you take any iron articles, what is this iron articles made up of? The iron articles are made up of atoms of iron. These atoms of iron are regularly arranged in the iron metal. Then the iron metal is in solid state. It has a metallic luster. It can react with acid, so it has certain properties. Now, if this iron nail is exposed to air and water for a long duration of time, slowly this iron nail will change into rust. It is not that the whole iron nail changes into rust. We all have observed slowly a portion of the iron nail starts rusting and gradually the remaining part also starts rusting. The moment an iron nail is starts rusting, what do we see? We see the color of the iron undergoes a change. A brown powdery substance is formed. This brown powdery substance is called rust, which is chemically hydrated ferric oxide. So, initially you had iron atoms. Now, after rusting, what you have got? You have got hydrated iron oxide, a completely different substance. The, its properties are also different and the atoms with which it is made up of that is also different. So, thus we can see whenever a chemical change is happening, it is being accompanied by the formation of a new substance. Chemical changes are permanent in nature and irreversible. So, let us take an example. We will understand it better. Ripening of mangoes. All of you have seen during the summer season that mangoes ripe. Initially, in the shops, in the markets, if not in the trees, if you have observed, you will see there are green mangoes. These green mangoes are sour in taste and they have a different texture uh, color. Now, after some time, you will see that mangoes, ripe mangoes start appearing in the market. You get this yellow ripe mangoes which are sweet in taste. Now, the ripe raw mango always ends up changing into a ripe mango. But have you ever seen a ripe mango changing to a raw mango? Can any one of you change the ripe mango back to the raw mango? No, it is not possible. So, this change of a raw mango to a ripe mango is a permanent change. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be altered. We cannot go back ways, uh, backwards. So, this is called a chemical change. This is one of the characteristics of chemical change. The third characteristic, there is an exchange of energy during a chemical change. That is, a chemical change is usually accompanied by the evolution of heat or light. Let us take the example of burning of paper. Whenever we burn a piece of paper, we will see some amount of heat energy is being formed and also there is light. So, always there is an exchange of energy during the 
chemical changes. Now let's see some examples of a chemical change. Cooking of food. This is a chemical change. Why? The raw vegetables end up changing into a cooked form and we can never alter the cooked food back to the raw vegetables. We can't reverse this process. And if we look inside at the molecular level, the molecules which were pre present in uncooked food and the molecules which are present in cooked food are different. Curdling of milk. So milk changes to curd <coughs> under certain conditions. But we can never change curd back to milk. So that's a permanent change, an irreversible change, thus being a chemical change. Rotting of vegetables. We have observed many a times that after some time, vegetables start rotting. Again, a rotten vegetable cannot become a fresh vegetable anymore. A fresh vegetable can always change into a rotten vegetable, but a rotten ve vegetable can never be turned into a fresh vegetable. So that is another example of chemical change. Burning of coal. Whenever you are burning coal, you will see always it's being accompanied by the formation of heat energy and light energy. So, and what happens when coal burns in oxygen, in air, it combines with the oxygen of air and forms carbon dioxide and water vapor. So a new product is being formed, heat and light is given out, as well as it's irreversible. We can't change back in, into coal. Photosynthesis is also a chemical change. But this you all think out and find out why photosynthesis is a chemical change and not a physical change. <coughs> now we will try to know uh, how can we find out that whether a chemical change has taken place or not. Usually whenever a chemical change takes place, it's accompanied by change in color. Like ripening of fruits, always there will be a color change during the process of ripening. You can see this picture here. You have green mangoes al also. And you can also see some mangoes are in the process of ripening. They are turning to red and then yellowish. So uh, there is a change in color the moment a fruit ripens. So change in color is one of the factors which is observed when there is a chemical change happening. <coughs> Next one, evolution of a gas. A chemical change sometimes is accompanied by the evolution of a gas, formation of a gas. If you take vinegar and add some baking soda to it or baking powder to it, what you will be observing is some effervescence. Lot of bubbles will be formed and a gas will be released out and you can hear that slight hissing sound out there. This picture shows us how, uh, what actually happens when evolution of gas happens. You will always see these effervescence occurring during the evolution of gas. So a chemical change sometimes is also accompanied by the evolution of gas. It's not that all chemical changes are accompanied by the uh, evolution of a gas, but some chemical changes we observe evolution of gas. In some chemical changes we observe a change in color. A chemical change is usually accompanied by also release or absorption of energy in the form of heat or light. So whenever a chemical change is happening, you may see there is formation of heat and light. Addition of water to quicklime. This picture shows when they, are, they have added water to quicklime and when water is added to quicklime, lot of heat is generated. The whole vessel becomes hot. Uh, so much heat is ge uh, generated, you won't be able to put your hand into it. So. It's accompanied, chemical changes are accompanied by the absorption of energy in the form of heat or light or the evolution. Now, simultaneous physical and 
chemical changes. We have this picture of a burning candle and we have a heading saying simultaneous physical and chemical change. Pause the video and think whether you can relate to this picture and the heading. Now let me explain. Whenever a candle burns, whenever you have a burning candle, two things happen simultaneously. Number one, melting of wax. You can see here some of this solid wax on gradually melts into liquid wax and collects at the bottom of this uh, container here or wherever you place the candle you will always see at the bottom there is this molten wax being collected. It's not that all of the wax melts but some of these wax melts and begin again solidifies. So during burning of a candle you observe melting of wax. Another thing happens burning of wax. Wax burns in air it combines with oxygen of air and forms carbon dioxide and water vapor. Wax is a hydrocarbon, an organic compound made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms. So wax burns in oxygen, reacts with oxygen of air and forms carbon dioxide and water vapor. This carbon dioxide and water vapor both being colorless obviously escapes into the atmosphere and you cannot see it. Now, melting of wax, this part is a physical change and why? Because only first you had solid wax, it changed to liquid wax and then gradually it changed to solid wax again. The second part where wax combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water vapor, here this is a chemical change. Why? Wax is a hydrocarbon. It has reacted with oxygen. Ended up giving us two new products. One carbon dioxide, one water vapor. This is a chemical change. 